was my car, and he let me do it. He'll tell you he told me I had to do it, but he really let me do it. So what kind of car is this again? This is a 1967 Austin Morris. It's an MK1100. And it had a, a little four-cylinder four gas engine in it. Gas and tranny were together, so when you take them out, now I have to put something else in, which is an electric motor and a Toyota Tercel transmission. Oh, how long did it take you to convert this to electric? It took me about six and a half weeks. the rail version much, much lighter. Only because I'm slow. <laughs> And you drove it here uh, from Fort Pierce, Florida? No, we didn't drove it. We did, we did uh, tow it over here. We wanted to drive it through the area once we got here. That's why the extra lithium batteries. Oh. Okay. It could have driven here. We would have had to make one stop halfway for charging uh, because I only get about a 100-mile range, and it's 161 miles to here. So we would have had to stop someplace to, to charge up, and there are a number of stations that you can do that at. I happen to be a charging station in Fort Pierce, but there are other charging stations along the way over here. We could have stopped and had we had the time. Well, it must be quite a conversation piece. Oh, it is. Steve and I play a game. We go to a Home Depot, and he parks out in front instead of in a parking space. And the deal is, for every man around my car, when I he comes out of the store, I get a quarter. And they say, what year is it? Right? It's a 1967. And why did you do this to this car? Why did you do it? Yes. Why not? <laughs> Look at the little fins on this. Look at it says electric vehicle. It says electric all over. Electric vehicle. And you can see uh, that's the back of the battery pack, which is taking this car is taking up the rear seat area, but it doesn't have to. Apparently, the uh, they added some extra batteries to give it greater range, and the car didn't come with a back seat, so uh, that was not part of the picture anyway. But certainly in today's modern EVs, uh, you don't need to sacrifice the rear seat to do an electric conversion. This company uh, did this car, it's done something like 187 conversions of all different cars. Really quite unusual. Here's some of the uh, vehicles they've converted. Not, not always what you would expect. Uh, <laughs> some of what they've done. Okay, Jim Motivale reporting. Uh, Green Shed Conversions is the name of the company, and um, right, there's some of those. Some of the vehicles they've done are here and there. There's a Porsche 915. There's an electric motorcycle. Uh, what is that? It's a Saturn, I believe. And uh, there's some kind of crossover SUV, all different uh, conversions. They do lawnmowers too. Jim Motivale reporting from the EV Expo in Florida.